So we're going to talk a bit about using Nifty for agency or really any client facing workflows. Nifty excels when it's working with outside collaborators. So feel free to bring these people into your projects and work with them and collaborate with them and ultimately deliver on time, if not ahead of schedule, deliverables that impress uh, your clients and make you look good. Now, the first thing we want to consider is how to use these portfolios. As we've probably learned by now, guests are not invited to portfolios. Guests are invited to specific projects, and guests do not even know the name of the portfolio their project is in. So you're really safe to bundle these projects in any way that makes sense to you. Um, one thing I really advocate for a lot of people is if they want to break out these projects by maybe account manager. Um, if you know these are Josh's client's roster, this is Kim's client roster. Another thought could be if you have a bunch of one-off clients, you can put them in one portfolio here. And then if you wanted to, you could create a new portfolio for the big client. And that's because maybe the big client has three projects with them. So you want to get a good grasp of what their total scope is versus everyone else, which will only have one. So you maybe don't need to create a new portfolio for them uh, from the get from get go. Remember, you can always move these projects across portfolios. So if one client turns into a big client, you can always expand their own portfolio and move that project across to the new one. Um, one good way to gauge how to use these portfolios in a meaningful way is to visit our overview because this allows you to see all the timelines for your projects running in one place. And you can filter this by portfolio. So what's a meaningful way to see the timelines for a bunch of projects? Is it by ownership? Is it by type of project? Is it by client or clients? Uh, again, that's really the kind of questions you can ask you yourself and your team. So in this case, we kind of have our clients broken into one account. Maybe these are one portfolio rather. Maybe these are our one-off clients. We have our internal projects here. So this is stuff that pertains to our business but isn't client-facing. Um, again, just multiple different ways to kind of look at this. Now, when we get to the project level, there's some things to consider about how to use this workflow. Like we mentioned before, guests can be brought into Nifty, and you do that by visiting the project and inviting someone in as a guest. Guest does guests do not join your license, um, but they do have considerable collaborative power. They can create tasks, they can sign tasks, they can be assigned tasks, which is an important one, right? So maybe what we want to do here is create a list for our client review, whether it's materials we need from them to get going, or if it's stuff that we've done that we need them to check over and approve, we can make sure they're actually the ones coming in and doing it. So in this case, we're going to assign someone internal, like myself, for any internal reviews. So when this task moves along um, and it gets to me, we'll see I'm assigned, and then we can assign the guest to the client review, and now they'll know to come into Nifty and take action. But one thing to consider here is whenever you're working with a guest or a client in general, whether or not it's in Nifty, they want to know where their project stands. And what you want to do is minimize the amount of check-ins they need because one, it's crystal clear from the outset, and two, kind of take some heat off your back, right? So if you bring that guest in, or at least give them access to your milestones, through the public link where they can see where the project's going, they'll be given the autonomy to answer that question on their own and maybe save themselves one check-in from you. But if you do bring them into the project, they can come into the discussions and you can really set the expectations as far as how things work. So, um, you know, just give them an intro message to come to. You can even pin it to make sure they can find it down the, down the road, but say, hey, the guest, um, be sure to check out your task list in the tasks module. So that way they kind of know what you're expecting from them. When they come in, they'll say, go here, and then they can see everything that's assigned to them. They know what to take action on. In the event that you have a guest that is in more than one project, um, they have access to my tasks and overview as well. So if they do have multiple different prongs, that they're working with you on, you can give them the benefits of seeing all of those big picture items, not only where these projects stand, but what do they need to do across all these projects to make sure you keep hitting these deadlines with these two tools. For any questions about the guest experience, we actually have a video on what the guest sees. So if you have any questions there, I would encourage you to check out that video. 
Um, lastly, I think it's important that guests know that they can shape how they want to be notified from Nifty. So I would encourage them to check out their notification settings as well. You want to make sure that they get our app so they can get all these updates as soon as they happen, no matter where they are. And they can communicate with you through the app if you are uh, using those project discussions. So anyway, I hope this really helps you kind of visualize what it's like to work with a guest on Nifty and maybe how to structure these different projects and portfolios to make sure you can scale your service-based company.